Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Spicy Burrito channel. I am the burrito. This here, this beautiful specimen right here, is Who Turts McBoobs. And we are doing our Let's Struggle Through Skyrim. Um, before we get started off here on our adventure, I just want to uh, address a, just a couple of things. One, I adjusted some video settings, some audio settings, so hopefully it's a little better. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to flatten that learning curve there. Um, hopefully it takes less than 15 days. Uh, also, um, gameplay um, uh, difficulty. Yes, difficulty was way too easy. I did a lot of practice runs and... I was just tearing through shit, so I upped the difficulty to uh, uh, not master, the one below it, um, expert. Expert, and uh, the only reason I'm not going to master right away is because we went through Helgen, the first episode, the tutorial dungeon, and didn't grab anything you're supposed to grab if you want to like take on Legendary. Um, yeah, so we're kind of naked, and we don't have much... Uh, in the way of items and, and weapons and armor, and we got to get armor. So the first thing we're going to do is go get some nice armor, maybe a couple weapons that we could use. Um, and so that's about it. So who, here's the continuing adventures of Hooterts. And uh, I've also decided that um, we're just going to play Skyrim like, like it's meant to be. Like you just fire up the game and let Skyrim take you where it wants to go. Uh, we're not going to do... Any, like, power leveling or of, like, alchemy or smithing or enchanting. We're just going to sell stuff off and, and see what we can find and see what quests we can go on. It'll be like playing Skyrim for the very first time, you know, he, he, and you don't know any of this stuff. Um, so, without further ado, let's struggle through Skyrim. Okay. Uh, like I said, we got to go get some uh, um, armor. And since we're not pow power leveling... Um, Alchemy, we're not gonna pick we're not gonna pick any flowers or anything. So I don't wanna bore you guys with like eight hours of picking flowers. And so we're not gonna pick any flowers. Or mushrooms or butterfly wings. We're just not gonna do that. I mean it, it's just it's too boring. It's not it's not for like a just a freestyle playthrough. It's more of a get up there. Um It's more of a strat uh strategery kind of thing. So no mushrooms, no flowers. We just won't do it. It we won't waste your time picking, picking flowers. So, yeah. So um, when we went into Helgen Keep, um, ooh, uh, we did not grab much. <laughs> we grabbed exactly what the game, the bare minimum of what the game wants you to grab. And so let's take take a look at that in our inventory. We grabbed an iron sword. Imperial Light Armor, Imperial Light Boots, and we did grab that Iron Helmet, so that's going to help a little bit. Let's see this bad boy. Yeah, pretty weak, you know? So, excuse me as I take a drag. Uh, we need to get some new gear, so I know exactly where to get some. Or at least I did. Until I got turned around. Alright, here we go. Over here, there's a bandit camp. There's three nasty sons of bitches down there, and we're going to go slaughter them. Oh, that's one more thing that I am forgetting. Orcs have a special power called Berserker Rage. If You you can use it one time, one time a day, and you take half damage and do double damage for 60 seconds. Probably the best character for a warrior. Or character. The best uh, uh, power for a warrior. So if you can see those houses, hopefully you can. Or not houses, tents. Hopefully you can and it's not that shitty of a video. But here's a better view. And that one dude, look at him stroke that sword up and down, up and down. I must be on the borderline of getting his aggression. And anyways, so let's go ahead and zoom on in there. Oh, Yes. Oh, speaking of, I'm going to kill the orc first. I hate orcs. I can't stand orcs. All right, let's turn around. Nail this guy. Dice. This guy can block, man. He, he can talk some fucking trash, too. 
Where are you, Archer? I know you're over here somewhere. Well, I tried to kill the bunny, but I was way too far away. There he is. Going to put you, down. <laughs> you, were, you were saying? Alright, fuckface. Nope, I'm gonna run you through. I just took my big old steel cock and put it right through your chest. Alright. Who turts does what who turts does and by um uh, what I mean by that is she likes to um undress dead bodies. She likes naked naked dead bodies. Where did the other guy go? I gotta loot him too. Where did you go? It was the orc. He was the first one. Well, get up there. There you go. He was the first one. I thought I jumped down off that rock. There he is. Okay. Let's go loot him. Now, in this camp, there's a couple things of importance. One is the black mage robes. See these black mage robes? Yeah, we want those because we can disenchant those. Um, there's also... A vomit bucket right next to this guy's bed. A vomit bucket. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice there. These guys are heavy drinkers, obviously. Loot that. And there's a skill book right here, which is a one-handed skill book. Now, normally, like I said, I'm going to compare everything to a, uh, a power leveling game. You wouldn't pick this up. Um, you would wait until it, it gets way too expensive to train and stuff. But we're not going to do much training. So we're, it's okay to pick it up. It's a one-handed skill book, I believe. Yes, so our one-handed skill has leveled up with by reading a book. And that's their ship bucket. That's where they diarrhea. Okay, next thing we're going to do is head on over to the popular... Popu Fall Creeth's most popular... Fall Creeth's most popular tourist attraction, the Shrine of Talos. Yep, this place is usually hopping. What the hell? What's with all the dead bodies? Well, this place used to be popular with the tourists, but I, I guess not now. Um, we're looking for this guy. He's got some kind of enchanted gear for us. Hide armor of the minor squire. Light armor skill by 12 points. It looks like we're going to be wearing that. That'll increase our light armor skill. That's pretty good. Cause, oh, no, 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 no. We want to use heavy armor, so we'll just have to disenchant that and level up enchanting. Strip these dead naked bodies. This poor fella. He got he got waylaid when he was fucking drinking beer on the bench. Okay. Here we go. Just loot all this stuff. We'll hit up the Shrine of Talos just to say we did. This guy right here, that's Talos. He is worshipped. He's a god um, to many Nords. I'm going to do my best to fuck up the uh, lore here. I believe he slayed a dragon or some shit. And... The Nords worship him as a god, but after the the Nords lost a war with the elves or some bullshit, the elves, in, during the peace agreements, they made it illegal to worship this guy. So you, you, it's illegal to worship this dude. Um, I don't see what the big deal about killing a dragon is because we're going to kill, like, uh, tons of dragons. So I guarantee you by episode 90, the Jarl of Falkreath, yeah, he'll, he'll commission a statue to get rid of this asshole and make a statue of... Who turts here? Yep. So that's our goal. That's our whole goal. I heard some wolves. Should we play with some wolves or should we just get moving? Let's just get moving. Hop down. Um, let's take out check out the uh, loot we got from these bandits. And what we can wear and what we can use. I'm looking for an iron mace. We're going to be one-handed. Maces are my favorite one-handed weapon. So we don't need to use this sword anymore. We're going to use maces, and we'll go ahead and equip that. I don't know if we're going to use bowls, bows much, but we'll keep one on on hand at all times until it gets too tedious to keep it around. Okay, iron boots, iron armor, iron helmet we had. Where is... uh? We didn't get any iron bracers. Okay, so... We'll put on the hide bracers for now and the hide shield. I don't think we got a better shield. No, we didn't. We want to favorite the shield. 
And that's it for that. Now, let me just uh, go ahead and label these real quick. Um, we'll make we'll make the shield two and the mace one. So we now have our shield. All right, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and quick save in case something goes drastically wrong. This is just some dude. Oh, he killed the wolf. Look at that mage armor he had. Hello there, fellow traveler. Hello, how you doing? Yo, 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 yo. And wandering waste through at your service. Huh? Well, thanks for killing that wolf for me, buddy. I don't know if that. I think that guy levels up speech or something. You can get speech training from him. Okay. Right now, the do 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 do. Let's see here. The quest is before the storm. Hadvar suggested that I hear. That I head to the nearby town of Riverwood. His uncle is the blacksmith there and should be able to help me out. If you recall, Hadvar is the gassy one. He's the one that eats gaseous foods and he farts. his farts are nasty, like, like diarrhea farts. Or no, day after diarrhea farts. Diarrhea farts aren't very f smelly, but the day after diarrhea farts, I've noticed. Like once your body recovers and you stop squirting diarrhea everywhere... Those farts are nasty. When you finally get solid fucking deuces again. Yeah. We want to hop down to the guardian stones down here. And hook up this hanging moss. That's the only reason we came here. No, I'm just kidding. We have the warrior stone. The mage stone. The thief stone. We're going to hook up the warrior stone because we're a warrior. And that's all for that. Again, definitely not picking any flowers. You don't want to see that, do you? Yeah, we're not going to pick flowers. Okay, a up there is Ember Shard Mine. We'll visit that later. We'll definitely visit that later. That's a fun place. That's a good place. But we want to head to Riverwood and get this party started. Now we want to go through the main quest just a little bit, just to get everything set and running and up and going and I think that's going to be the whole premise of this episode is trying to get well we're going to go deal with the yo local yokels down in Riverwood first but then we'll make our way to white, white, white run uh, up here's a couple wolves there's got to be a couple wolves there's one yeah suck on it Yeah. dead ooh you scared me Where's this this other guy? Uh oh. Am I gonna die to a wolf? <laughs> I better kick it in before I die. And the and the punt. Yeah, I had to kick in Berserker Rage there. I I was gonna die. I didn't realize there was three of them. Well, I I knew there was three of them from practice runs, but sometimes there's only two and sometimes there's one and I what I deviated from my strategy of letting them come to me. I decided to jump up there and confront them, and then I lost track of them. So. Uh, I don't know how much magic we're going to delve into, but since we don't have any healing potions, um, we're going we're gonna to use some restoration magic. Um, we might use some conjuring, too. Um, conjur Conjuration is always fun. It's always fun. We can we can conjure up some um, badass creatures and shit that fucking help fight us or help fight for us. Let's go ahead and heal. Of course, the magic is low, but I don't think we're gonna put many points into magic. At least not uh, right away. So where was I? We were heading on down to Riverwood. And let's just wait an hour to get rid of this Berserker Rage. It's kind of blurry. That's why your screen's really blurry. Because you go into a Blood Rage and your vision gets blurry. And it causes you to do double damage and take half damage. Definitely not going to pick those mushrooms right there. Or this one. Alright, here's Riverwood, ladies and gentlemen. Riverwood. Greatest place on earth. Unfortunately, it's not on earth. Okay. 
uh, just real quick, let's check out this sign here. Um, this tells you where you got to go or where you want to go. Most of the stuff is that way. There's some stuff that way. Uh, Helgen. We were just there. Nothing ever happens in Helgen. Nothing exciting ever happens in Helgen. Um, Markarth and Solitude. This, is, uh, this cracks me up. This reminds me of where I live. Like on the interstate highways, there'll be signs for the next city. It's like 40 miles. And the city after that's like 120 miles. And then... The, then all of a sudden they'll have like Tampa, Tampa Bay, two thousand miles. It's like, what? There's no cities between the third, second farthest city and Tampa Bay. It's just like I walked out my door to go to work and I was like, well, it's a good thing I know Tampa Bay is two thousand miles away. If I take this highway. A dragon. I all right, dragon. we're in Riverwood. What? What is it now, mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. <laughs> this broad is batshit crazy. That was Fen. He's a bard. Uh, this broad's batshit crazy. Nobody It'll kill us all, but, you know, you, we'll, we'll all believe dragon. you, but we'll be dead, so we can't really believe you, so... Man, you've been tanning that face as much as you tan that leather. Gross. Okay, she is bad shit crazy. She doesn't have anything to say. One thing, we, one thing else. Oh, one other thing we're gonna do. Um, I know I said we're not picking flowers, but we are gonna pick some crops. Ooh. Yep, we're gonna pick their crops. And in Skyrim, they're they're pretty nice. Or at least in Riverwood, they. they uh, in Riverwood, they just let you pick their cops, crops, cocks for free. So we're going to help ourselves. We're looking for, if you don't know what I'm doing, we're looking for uh, vegetable soup ingredients. Vegetable soup will restore your stamina for like eight minutes. So it, you'll always have at least one hit point of stamina, even though you use yours up. But you can still do power attacks because that's all it costs is at least one hit, one like point of stamina uh, to do a power attack. So it'll give you perpetual power attacks. That's one of those takes. I, or that's one, one of those things I'll use from the walkthroughs I've watched throughout the years. One of that. One of those pieces of advice. We're also looking for tomatoes, leeks, potatoes, and cabbage. That's the four ingredients. And we'll find a bunch of them. But right away, the, the tomatoes will be the bottleneck. It'll be hard to find tomatoes. Because you, you can't pick tomatoes for some reason. They didn't plant tomatoes. They grow their tomatoes inside these barrels. Go figure. So we're at our quest marker. You can see we are at Alvor's house. So let's stop in and complete this quest. Oh, Alvor, I'm home. Hey, sweetie. Hey, stinky. Did you see that plate just jump off? That fucking plate is possessed, I swear. We've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to start. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a scold. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Well, we we did have a few fucking beers at Helgen. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like All right, Alvor. I'm glad to help in any way I can. Yeah, you just said that. But I need your help. Oh, of course, there's a catch. We need your help. Okay, so you, since he's got this uh, boyhood crush on Hadvar's rancid ass over there, uh, and you saved Hadvar, uh, technically, I think Hadvar saved us, but we'll, we'll just let them think that we saved him. He'll give you everything he owns, including the Famunda cheese he keeps in his pockets. And he keeps them in his back pockets, too, so they're nice and melty and stinky. The Jarl needs stinky. to know there's a dragon on the loose. 
Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okay, Alvor. Jarl Balsack. Got it. Mm -hmm. Hadvar, did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Yeah, it looked like well, you. Well, Ugly. Don't your cousin. You two make yourselves at home. Uh, yeah. And so he'll let you loot his whole house for free. We just want to pick up a lot of these things. Here's some tomatoes, pota or potatoes and leeks. Um, nothing uh -huh. in the barrel. Let's head downstairs to their sex dungeon. Make yourself at home. Now this guy keeps bacon fat on his, on his, uh, bar. I guess bacon fat's a big thing in Skyrim. A lot of people keep it on their countertops. They dip their, uh, potato chips in it. <coughs> Edvar. We can't take that because it's stolen. Or, well... It'll be counted nice as be it'll be counted as stone. Man, you uh, people ever shut up? Just stay away Listen, from my husband. I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to solitude from Well, here. it's too I'd late. I already gave your husband a hand job, so just down the road from Did here. you just like teleport across the room? To solitude. Need something? What's that? What'd you say to me? What'd you say to me? What's the hurry? <laughs> no, not much. I'm much. I'm not in much of a hurry. All right, and I think. Oh no, there's some. There's some gold that he just lets you take, and an iron dagger, which we're gonna sell right back to his ass. I love it. A hide helmet, nice. And then, just to be uh, gas free, we want to take the cabbage away from Hadvar and the egg away from Hadvar. Ooh, there's a potato. And that's it for this place. Keeping in theme of looting the shit out. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, that is awesome. I've never seen something like that before. This this fucking wolf has glitched into the floorboards. God, I love this game. I fucking love this game. Uh, yeah, keeping in theme of ripping him off. And then selling everything back to him. We'll take these iron ingots. Man, he must have hauled these iron ingots from White Run because he doesn't have a smelter around here. He has a forge, but no smelter. You can't make ingots without smelter. And this fucking wolf is crazy. That is so awesome. Um, what's going to happen here? Is he going to be able to work on his forge with a fucking wolf sticking out of his floorboards? Uh, come on. Tan that leather. Okay. All right. Works for me, dude. Nice decoration, though. Take what All right. you need, my friend. Within, Within reason. reason of course. All right. I, I'll, I'll be... Watch over your battles, I'll be a... Uh, here we go. What have you got Take to sell? <laughs> that wolf is nuts. Okay. Normally, we would... I would save these uh, and enchant them and save like 150 of these things. They just weigh you down and it feels so good to sell them for once. Not having to fucking worry about Saving them and hauling them around and enchanting them. Um, we'll just get rid of all the garbage. Nope, don't want to get rid of that. Any enchanted, enchanted like this one, we don't want to sell. Oh, I did pick up some iron gauntlets. Good, so we can get rid of these hide bracers. Stuff in armor. And that's it. All right, Alvor. We'll see. In, we'll okay. see you when we see you. I don't know when we'll be back, but we'll see you then. Uh, I want to equip these gauntlets before I forget. Okay. Uh, next order of business: the Riverwood Trader. Let's go see what these people are all about. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. no Hello, I'm looking for a golden no claw. No oh. thief chasing. Better not well, interrupt. What are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Oh, that's quite all right, Lucan. This is Lucan. Say hello to Lucan, everybody. And this the is the hottest bitch in Skyrim. Open. Camilla, she is a hot broad right here. 
and she doesn't like her brother. Her brother's a little bit overprotective, but I would too if I had a sister that You're looked that good looking. Here. That makes two of us. All right, Lucan. Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. God, these people just don't stop talking. My sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Well, I don't know. I got a very specific request. Um, I'm looking for a golden claw. Uh, it's in the shape of like a dragon's claw. Um, uh, would you happen yeah, to have something like that? We, we did have a, a bit of a, a break in. But we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Oh, son of a bitch. So let me guess. I'm, uh, since I want it and want to buy it off you, I'm going to have to you get could. it back for you. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, so northeast of town. Again? Yes. Okay, Bleak so Falls Barrow. Got go it, Lucan. Oh, oh, I want to I want to well, sell I some stuff to you, buddy. Would you shut up? Find the claw, the sooner our Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. No, well, now he's put now he's pushing me to go get that claw right away. What an asshole. I just told him I'd do it, and he's like, "The sooner you get it." Okay, let's sell all the um unmentionables. Don't want to sell the black rose. We, again, we can disenchant that hats. Minor squire. Don't want to sell those. Those are enchanted. You'll see. We can sell these rings. Got more gloves. I pick up any potions. Oh, I do got potions. All right. We're going to sell everything except the vital. Uh, <laughs> here's the Famunda cheese. The ingredients for potato or uh, vegetable soup. Here, you can have that. Oh, I got two wooden plates, dude. What will you give me for them? Zero? Okay, deal. All right. We're out of here. No, we're out of here. Okay, what time of day is it? 7.57 p.m. All right. Through the magic of Skyrim... We are going to wait until the next morning. We have to go through town. If you stand perfectly bridge, still, Bleak Falls you can wait up to you can twenty-four see hours. Here, though, the mountain just over the buildings. Oh, and I forgot, Camilla the Hop Rod is going to give us a, Those thieves a walk down to the end of the street there. here. Those Literally, it's only like fifty yards away, and, and she thinks she's whales. helping us. Like we knew we were going to go down to the end of the fucking street, but she's hot. I'll forgive her. All right. What time was it again? 8.06. 8.06 a.m. in Riverwood. We're looking for a f couple of things here. First thing you need to do, you most if you're following this walkthrough and for some reason, and you're playing along, which I highly doubt, uh, first thing you need to do is grab this bucket. It's the most important thing in the world. And the woodcutter sacks it would be nice to keep. you got to grab two because we're going to go cut some wood. I am going to force you all to watch the dreaded wood animation. Wood chopping animation. And it's 30 seconds, but it seems like it's eternity. So have fun. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe... Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. Okay, so this guy just comes up talking to us, so I guess we'll have to talk to him. Uh, flawless technique there, Hooters. Not your Grade A champion woodchopper. Fendel. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. Okay, you're, you're intriguing me. What's your problem with Sven? He's a bard. So he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, have you heard the one about the duck and the prostitute? What did the duck say to the prostitute there, Fandel? Uh, nothing. 
He said, put it on my bill. I don't need your jokes right now, but maybe you have a point. Come on, it maybe was funny. Maybe Camilla needs some help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Oh, so you want to get laid and you want to give the hot broad a letter, say it's from the bard, Sven, who has the batshit crazy mother, and it must be filled with some naughty stuff mm, in that letter. Next time. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Now we got to find Camilla. This isn't Camilla. She's not as New good looking as Camilla. Work? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. Hod? You're not talking about Hod Titanhammer, are you? Hod Titanhammer? He lives in Riverwood now? That's crazy. We're going to have to go see Hod Titanhammer. Uh, little known... Here, here's a ba some backstory for those of you who want backstory. Um, uh, Hooters here was in the 80s hair band. All girls 80s hair band. And they the name of it was Bloody Flux. And they were on the Titans of Tamari... Tamari uh, the Titans of... Tamriel tour um, back in 1984 and Bloody Flux toured with a, a few other bands and when they came to Skyrim this guy that's him that's Hod Titanhammer he was a roadie for them and all throughout Skyrim when they played Mark Karth and Riften and, and Solitude and Winterhold this guy was in charge of all that stuff now he's a, let me warn you this guy's a real poon hound uh, he, he, um, spent more time horizontal than vertical, if you know what I mean. I'm surprised he's settled down here in Riverwood. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Uh, okay. Honest gold for honest work. All right, then. Hod, you don't recognize me? Don't you remember Anything the Titans of Tamriel to him? Oh, I guess you don't. Maybe it's not the Dog same hot. Here in Riverwood, eh? There are worse villages. Well, you've been to them all. Look at this guy. He's built. He's definitely. He was definitely the roadie for Bloody Flux. At least the damned war hasn't gotten here. Yeah. Oh, look at this beast. Oh, look at that shit. Yeah, that's hot. I if I know. Oh my god, dude. How did those not roll on top of you? We work hard. Right to do right by our families. Oh, so you're a family man now, wink wink, huh? Me, I've got my axe, my wife Gerder, and my boy Frodnar. That's all I need. Huh. Wait, is this guy that there's no way this guy settled down and had a family. Wood cutting's my trade. Best log splitter from here to Riften. Uh. By log splitting you mean what? Yes, yank that crank hod. It's all in the way you hold the axe. Caress it like any wench, and she'll do you right. <laughs> That's the hod we all know and love, and only took him fucking five lines to say it. Um, but I'll try harder next time. Caress it like any wench. All right, so we got to turn in the letter to Feindale. Hopefully Camilla waited out here for 12 hours for us to walk us down to the end of the block. There she is. She's still here. This way. Uh, I have a letter from you from Feindel. I mean Sven. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. Well, he knows how to What's make the ladies this? wet, that's for sure. If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Right. No, he, <laughs> he has a mother, a batshit crazy oh, mother, but I don't think he wants to have sex with his mother. Well, it is he is a bard, he might. Oh, speak of the devil. He can woo Camilla, the Sven, sorry, I got She's already business with Feindale. He got to me first. Or else I would have sided with you in this whole conflict. If I can only find Feindale. Ah, there he is. Feindale! We Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. <laughs> and just like that, this dude is so fucking relieved that we got him laid. He will do anything, and he will actually, little known secret here, I've got he, your back. he will actually, you if you give him that bucket I told you, now this is where the bucket comes into play, it's very important, if you give this bucket to him by pressing R to give it to him, 
he will give you everything in his inventory. Everything. Without saying a word about it. So you just take, 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 take. And you can even take the bucket. And I don't know if you noticed the bucket you gave to him. I don't know if you noticed, but we took the key to his house. And he'll give you anything in his house too. That's how dedicated or relieved this guy is for emptying his sack. Um, he had a full ball bag there. I'll head back home if you need me. <laughs> head back home. We're going to beat you there, buddy. And we're going to loot you blind. Yep. Good old Fiendale. He had, a, he had a full ball bag. He just needed some relief. Okay. Now we can loot him up for his precious ingredients. I'll, he's got a blue boy's tunic in his cupboard. What does he need kids clothes for? Come on. Did I grab that one? Okay, I grabbed that one. Let's check what's in his chest. We want to go... He's got a couple of pelts here. A couple of potions. None of these are skill books. He's got a few arrows. And then he's got the rest of the iron stuff we need. He's got an iron... Banded iron shield. Iron helmet. A hunting bow, which is nice. It's better than a long bow. Salt pile. We're going to take these potatoes away from Hadvar and these eggs. Eggs make Hadvar gassy. I don't know if he's friends with Feindel, but just in case, preventative measures. What's in this chest over here? Gold. Gold necklace. Holy shit. And it's, the game says it's going to be stolen, but it's not. You can take it. Trust me. You can take it. Um, the only other thing is we sold all our, what's that? Okay. That's it. So, Feindel got laid. Oh, yeah. He's a sicko, too. I think he tortures women because Feindel has a collection of fucking iron daggers just sitting on his uh, mantle here. And, of course, bacon fat sitting on his fucking mantle. Like I said, everybody in Skyrim stores their bacon fat on, on shelves, mantles, bars. It doesn't matter. Did we check these? Can't remember, so we're going to do it again just to be thorough. I think that's about it in Riverwood. We took care of the Feindel, um debacle, getting him laid. Alvor gave us his uh, dick cheese. Sven and his batshit crazy mo mother we met. We didn't check these two barrels. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, yeah. We want to go say hi to Delphine and Ognar. Ognar, my favorite two Riverwoodians. In the Sleeping Giant Inn. Orgnar. Orgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. <laughs> That's a good one, Orgnar. Get a new batch. Did you hear me? Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. All right, Orgnar, give me an ale. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Okay, Ain't like... Much else to tell. Any other RPG, D&D, &D, whatever it be, RPG, role-playing, any medieval setting, or whatever, fantasy, land setting, there, you always go to an inn, first thing to do, and ask if there's any jobs or rumors. So we might as well do there that. There been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact... The Dark Brotherhood. So what is a what what does a Dago like Aventus Arantino want with the Dark Brotherhood? Heard Have any you other seen rumors? That shrine of Azura. They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Okay, interesting, interesting. See, and this gives you shit to do. So they should say, um, in parentheses, do you want shit to do? Heard any more rumors? There's something of a love triangle here in Riverwood. Feindel and Sven, both vying for Camilla's affections. Ah, uh, we already solved that one. So. All right, then. All right, good day, Orgnar. Thanks for the ale. And, oh, there's Sven. Let's go talk to Sven real quick. You're nothing but trouble. I know. Um. Sure. What can I do for you? Yeah, can you sing the song about the first time you got your period? Ah, a fine but bloody tale. I can do that one. Okay. 
Well, Delphine Orgnar, you're welcome. You can listen to that nasty ass shit. Gross. Okay, that's it for Riverwood. I'm pretty sure that's it for Riverwood. Oh boy, what to do? What to do? What to do? Well, we need to make ourselves take our, take ourselves down to White Run. We're gonna cross this bridge, which Camilla was supposed to show us to, but I guess she got she got tired of waiting for us for 24 hours. I do want to go to Anissa's cabin, so we're going to just head down here and kill this mud crab real quick. He's a little feisty little bastard. Look at that. He's a feisty little shit. And I keep missing him. Die. Jesus. I'm struggling with a mud crab. Mora Tapanella, like I said. I love Mora Tapanella. And I love picking flowers. You know, I've been addicted to heroin like eight or nine times in my life. This addiction is hard, to, hard, hard to um, kick. It really is. Picking flowers in Skyrim is just like one of the biggest, hardest addictions to uh, kick. Now, we came over to this side of the river because orcs have a ninth sense. They don't have six. They have nine. And one of them is sniffing out treasure. And there's a treasure chest right in here. We even have the treasure map to this treasure chest. That we got off those bandits we killed earlier. Um, but we don't need it. We didn't even need to look at it. Because she can sense treasure. Now. In many of practice runs. I've run into. A hell of a. What you call it. A hell of a random event here. At first it was thieves. On the high difficulty. Or the low difficulty. A thief. And he was just whooping my ass. I mean this guy had had like ninjutsu knife techniques and he just whooped my ass he killed me like eight or nine times um after that i just kept running into that high level thief at a low level i was like what the fuck then i switched to this difficulty and did a practice run and i shit you not the game spawned two bandit chiefs and two regular bandits bandit chiefs are fucking badass and they're hard to fucking beat and this isn't even legendary. So I, I don't know how the calculation went to spawn two of them, let alone one. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got here? We've got... Oh, fuck. We got a mage. Uh-oh. We're done. Yeah, I killed that bastard. So they decided to spawn something okay. It's decent. Because he's going to give me... No, no. I already have the Thalmor robes. So none of that shit's going to work. But Holy yeah. shit, another one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, potions. Let's take some potions. And we need to hit up Berserker Rage. But I think I already used it. Yep. Oh, God. fuck. Mine's playing tricks on you. Well, we quick. died. Two mages. Wonderful. It just gets better and better. I would have rather gone up against two fucking bandits. Or two bandit chiefs and two bandits. Ah. Who's coming to get me now? Nobody? Nobody, huh? Are you serious? No random event? All that work for nothing. Well, at least we get rewarded with a Mora Tapanella. Up there is Bleak Ball's Barrow. We'll be getting to that soon. I just want to lock in Anissa's cabin. Basically, I use this place as a point of reference to find uh, a precious gem that we could sell for a good head start on money. Um... And it's also nice to visit the local hag. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. Well, you're a poor no old hag. And sh yourself. again, she's just like all the River Woodians. She just lets you pick her crops. So, the point of reference is here. Um, there's that guy again. Just walk over here. Look for the patch of green grass. Down here. Down here. And down here. See this skeleton here? Inside is a flawless emerald. It's always there. I can I never can see it 
But the game tells you it's there, and if you take it, it's worth a pretty penny. And with the lack of random event, um, let's go ahead and fast travel. Let me show you the fast travel system, which is very easy. You just select somewhere you've already been and fast travel there. And Riverwood is the closest to White Runs. So we'll head there. And that's all. So. Let's just say hi to the local You're drunk. Around here, so I'll go easy on you. But don't get on my bad side. What's that? You little dog. shit. You want me to beat your ass? Calm down there, Hooters. And not a little, a lot. Yeah, well, yeah, well I'll spank you. And not a little, a lot. Oh shit. Did you really see a dragon? La la la, I can't hear you. Alright. Let's run on down to White Run where it's lots of fun in White Run. That was dumb. Okay. Another more tapenel. This is my favorite ingredient. It's only found on, a lot of it's only really found in Riverwood. There's some spread out, but Riverwood has a big bunch of patches of fallen trees, and that's where the Mora Tapanel lies. Here comes a wolf. He should be howling soon, right about now. On cue. Game didn't throw me a curveball there. <laughs> yep. See you, bitch. Are you related to the wolf that, are you... Are you related to the wolf that was inside? Uh, that wolf was fucking carrying gold. He had a coin purse on him. Wonder if he was related to the wolf that was stuck inside Alvord's fucking uh, floorboards there. His cousin. Alvord decided to make him a decoration in his floorboards. Yeah. That wolf was carrying gold. Does he carry it in his between his toes? Do I don't know. Do, do dogs have toes? Or wolves have toes? Yeah, they gotta have toes, right? And does he just carry it around all day between his toes? What the hell? Oh, I know what I did. I sifted through his fucking shit and found some coins. He must have swallowed some coins. So, yeah, I picked through his feces and found some coins. That's why you always pick through uh, dog feces when you're, when you're in Skyrim. Because you never know what you're going to find. All right. We got a giant. Can you believe this? A fucking giant? We're not even level 2 yet. They're throwing giants at us. Who are these people? I don't know. Well, look, they look friendly, so let's help them out and kill this bastard. I want to kill him below, you ass clowns. He's mine. Oh, shit. You gotta be careful. You don't... You strong. Come to your basket. Run off. Run off. Handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield sister. Ayla, what's a sh uh, shield scissor? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor, and we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Yorvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Okay, Coxlap White Mane. Got it. We'll go visit Coxlap later. Uh, Ayla, can I scissor you? You're pretty hot today. there. Good Shield scissor. If you All right, here, this giant has <laughs> two you shitty you iron fucking arrows. And your eyes quicker. All right. Let's get all these potatoes while we're... I, I promise we'll, we'll get rid of this picking food soon i that is a genuine promise i do want to get enough for uh those power po or power potions stamina um potions actually vegetable soup not a fucking potion mumble mouth so we're gonna grab as much as this as possible or as early as possible so we don't have to keep doing it later and later we can just brew these huge vats of soup and keep it in our bra for later when we need it and since she's a hefty girl and and 
she's got a hefty chest. She's got a big bra, which means a lot of space to store soup. More on Tapanella. Down here, some lavender. We're going to just lock in this location, this honey brew meadery. Hello, officer. Say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. Yeah. They act like they've never seen a dragon before. I mean, fuck. These people's lives are really boring. Yes, yes, I've heard about the damn dragon. I was there. I witnessed it. You don't need to tell me about it. I know what's going on. In fact, I'm the only one that knows what's going on at this point, besides Hadvar's gassy ass and Alvor, who's too busy stroking his fucking iron ingot. Ah, I know I said I, I just can't stop. I should not be picking this. It just takes forever. But I figure if I can pick him up while running, that's good. Let me guess. Dragon tech, Helgen. Dragons I can handle. But this talk of dragons? Yep. World gone mad, I say. Called it. All right, let's lock in these two farms. Now, these farms do have important ingredients. Uh, this this far farm is Battleborn Farm. They got some more leeks. We're going to need leeks because leeks are going to run short after a while. I don't know why, but they always this just seem to run short. Tomatoes are really run short. And like I said, they don't grow tomatoes. Like, you can't pick tomatoes. They, you got to get them in barrels. They grow them in barrels. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Like, they couldn't just, like, replace these gourd plants with tomato plants. Um... I wonder if we'll get lucky. Let's go check this barrel. Tomato? Potatoes. Like we need any of those. Sacks of flour. Apples. Alright. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I've been... A, I don't know. This past weekend I did a little too much drinking. A little under the weather. I do not have the coof. But I do have a little sinus drainage and a little bit of a sore throat. Well, at least I hope it's not the coup. I mean, I, if it is, I, I would have thought the coup would be a lot worse than this. But no, it's just a mild ir irritation. Probably drank too much, smoked too much. You know, that that can happen. We do want to pick this wheat. Wheat is important because we're going to frost brew it up in High Rothgar up there. You can They got a brewery up there. It's as cold as the Rockies, they say. We're going to frost brew our own Coors Light with this wheat. Yeah, hi. Hey, that's mine. I'll take that. Hi, Hrothgar. Hrothgar. There's a couple barrels over here. I'm just hoping to get lucky with some tomatoes. You know, you got to rotate the soil to get nice, plump, juicy red tomatoes. All right. We're almost there. Over the river and through the woods to Jarl Balsack's house we go. Yeah, our old ball sack. I can't wait to meet this guy with a name like that. Ooh, I see a tree stump over there. I bet you it has more tap tapanella on it. More tapanella. Was I right? Yep, I was right. Let's discover the white run stables and pick those cabbages over there. I didn't realize there's cabbages over here. I could edit this out, and I may. just depends on how I feel with my editing abilities. I would love to torture you but and make you watch it. That sounds even more fun. <laughs> what, a, what a good way to get viewers. I'm going to torture you and make you watch me pick fucking cabbage. All right, this guy can take us to any of the whole capitals, I believe. Can take you to any of the hold capitals. Ah, I called it. All right. Just more, some more. White runs got the good stuff. I just can't stop. I feel like it got bugs crawling on my skin. I wonder if the Khajiit are here. Oh, well, it doesn't look like it. We are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. First episode. 
or no, not first episode, second episode, almost done. I wish there was more combat, but there's definitely going to be more combat next episode, definitely, because we're going to go into a mine, maybe Bleak Balls Barrow, Blue Balls Barrow. <laughs> uh. Yeah, and look at this. We're here. White Run. Lavender, lavender. Okay. What the hell? Okay, so there's usually, here's another curveball. There's supposed to be a guard here and a guard here. And you're supposed to walk up here and they're supposed to confront you. But since they weren't here, I assumed you could just go in. But... We don't have guards, so I don't know. I don't know what to do. I guess, I guess, game fucking over, huh? Well, I guess that's it for the second episode of the Spicy Burrito Channel. The I am the burrito. This is Who Turts McGee. Yeah, we're fucked. So I'm just gonna call it quits. That's the end of my channel. Um, no guards at White Run, so we can't continue the game. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, thank you for uh, paying or uh, watching the Let's Struggle Through Skyrim. Up. Oh. City's closed with the dragons about. Okay. Official Game on. Only. Game on. There they are. Okay. Um, I have news uh, from Helgen about the dragon attack. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. And we leveled up speech. Okay. Game on. Never mind. Disregard what I said. The channel's up and running. We can get into. White run now, but that is the end of the video, like I said. So, I will see you next time when we go in, do some business with Yarrow Ballsack, and then we're going to go on an adventure and get some combat going. So, until then, we'll see you next time. This is The Burrito, signing off.